What's going on guys? Twig and Timber Outdoors. I'm going to run through a cheap, nice little setup for you guys to catch all kinds of fish, all kinds of ways at any given point of the year. Alright guys, first off we have a Gander Mountain Vortex. Uh, there's a 6'6 six six rod, uh, fast action on the bottom there, coupled with a GTX, um, or sorry, a GSX Terminate Pro. Um, I use it for light rigging and for, uh, you know, soft presentations. Above that, although it has a frog on it, that is a Abu Garcia 6'6", six six, I believe, um, Silver Max. And uh, it's not a great uh, rod, but it's a 5 to 1 combo, or 5 to 1 spin ratio, um, 5 to 1 gear ratio, sorry. And, sorry. It is a 5 to 1 gear ratio that I use for cranking and for uh, some spinning stuff, um, some spinner stuff, rather. Above that, I have a... Uh, Abu Garcia, seven foot, Harold Ensley, and it's a uh, what I usually use for frogging and for flipping and pitching. It coupled with a Victory seven to one uh, bait casting reel. I like it. It's stiff, medium, medium heavy. Um, and above that, I have a really old. I believe it's a five foot six Shakespeare. It's like an ultralight. I can't even tell you what it is sold, but I coupled it with an octane uh, spinning reel, and I usually throw four to six pound mono on there for panfish. Above that, I have a uh, Gray Series Master Fly Rod that is an eight foot. Use that. Uh, it's a six seven weight. Use that primarily for smallmouth and largemouth bass, um, or anything that would really take a popper. Um, and above that, and oh, I usually run about six weight line on that. Above that, I have an Abu Garcia nine foot four weight. Um, coupled with um, just a, a carbon reel on there, um, I like it, and it's a, I use usually four weight line on that for trout and for panfish. All right, guys. Hope you guys liked it. I know it's not much. It's really cheap and inexpensive. Usually, I found this stuff kind of at garage sales or at thrift shops. Okay, um, you don't have to have super expensive gear to catch fish. Okay, and hopefully this rack, which has tons of fish in its quiver, all right, shows that. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned guys so I can show you guys how I catch fish on these rods and reels.